Hey guys, happy Sunday! If I upload this on Sunday, which I'm crossing my fingers that I'm not too busy that I can't upload this on Sunday. So I got a request to talk about my has. My nice has that I got to cut recently. Um, and the subscriber who requested it is Katie Caddy. Oh my god, this is totally like a mean girl's name because you know how it's like her name's like Katie, but everyone says Caddy because the way it's spelled. That's like how it's spelled. So, um, it's Caddy Herode who asked me, um, can you please do a video on how you got your hair like that? And the video that she's talking about is the video I named subscribe to my new YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, you should subscribe to my new YouTube channel. And, um, I'm just working between those two channels right now. Um, so what my hair is like there, I will get to in a little bit. I'm going to first start off with um, products that I use on my hair um, on a regular basis and stuff that I really like and works for me. And everything is affordable affo blah, 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 affordable because um, Lord knows that our student who is in college does not have that money to spend on her hair. So the first product that I am going to talk about is the Garnier Fructis Color Shield duo as it leaks all over me so we're gonna hold this one that's not all wet um <laughs> so i've used this stuff for the longest time um i can't remember how much it costs i think it's like 412 for one of these bottles so that's like super affordable i mean it's not a dollar but i mean it works um my sister has told me that she doesn't like the garnier line because it makes her hair greasy um the condition makes her hair greasy she feels like and i can see how people can say that um but it just works for me and i really like it um if you are really worried about the greasiness of your hair if you use it from your ears down and just get like this part of your hair really soft and stuff um it cuts back on the grease from it so and also I do wash my hair every other day or um, longer than that sometimes and the times where I do go longer than that and I can see that my hair is greasy and stuff I use the Batiste dry shampoo this is the proud and true Brit scent I don't like this scent very much it smells like minty ish I don't I don't know it's a Brit scent a British scent which, uh, aren't they not, like, supposed to smell good? I don't know, but, um, I, maybe they don't. But this is more like a fresh British scent. It's not, doesn't smell, like, bad. It's just, um, I prefer something else. And you can't really smell it when it's on your hair anyway, so it's just, whatever. I really like this stuff because of, um, my dark hair that it doesn't show up because I know that lots of the dry shampoos can leave a residue like a white residue on your hair and I've used the suave one before and I've also used the tresemme one which both of those are also good this just gives um boost and volume to your hair so it doesn't look so dull and flat which I'm not like really picky about that but um I just can tell that this works way better in my hair than the other products and if I have to like I will use those ones but I just prefer this one I got this at Ulta I can't remember how much it is I think it's eight dollars so this is like one of those things that I was just like oh my gosh you know the suave one's one dollar and then I get this one and it's eight and I don't like that but these um things like last me like a like a good amount especially because um the shampoo and conditioner since I only use it every other day or so like these last me forever like way longer than they should if I were to wash my hair every day and then this is just for days where I do not have time to wash my hair so um sometimes I used it the other day when I woke up and I noticed my hair was greasy and I had a photo shoot to go to so I just like put this in and it works and I mean um the other thing that I use, uh, but my hair doesn't really get that greasy is what I'm trying to say. It's just like after, like in the middle of day two of dirty hair, um, or like after that, and this is a lifesaver for the girls who are in college and you go through finals week. This is a lifesaver. I will say that because it doesn't make your hair smell bad. Um, the other thing that I use in the shampoo or the, yes, in the shampoo, in the shower for my hair is the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle. And this was, what did I get this for? I think, um, Ingrid or Megan Rosette said this is thebomb.com and it's like $3. Like, 
I love this stuff. I just used it in my hair today. And um, this first smells like the Aussie smell, so it smells amazing. And then on top of that, um, you just leave it in your hair for three minutes, then you rinse it out. The thing that I love about this is that it gets my hair to its natural, super moist state, which um, my natural state of hair isn't very straight. I do have straight hair, but it's not flat iron pin straight. So um, if I let my hair air dry like this, it takes a few hours. It can take three to five hours for my hair to dry. And um, I will get like this thing in my hair where it goes like straight and then has like a wave and then it goes straight again. So it's really weird. Um, if I keep my hair up in a towel for a longer amount of time than I did today, it will start to like wave, but then the waves will go straight and do this weird straight wave straight thing and then it will curl at the end right here so it's kind of like this really huge wave thing that's going on my hair but my hair is too short for you to get the full wave effect um but this is really good because i feel like my hair is just like in its most natural state of being my hair and it's just great after a long week of you know curling it and straightening it and all this stuff and then just having it finally relax and get all that moisture so for three dollars I just love this stuff um so that's like products that I use to like clean my hair is what I'm trying to say now everyone always asks about my hair color all the time I always get compliments on my hair color um I do have to re-dye my hair very very soon my roots are nasty um <laughs> so um I do apologize ahead of time for that. I will show you my hair color right now. It's wet right now so it doesn't look too vibrant like it normally is. I don't really have a dry piece of hair right now since I really wanted to film today. Um, my top roots are really dark right now but it, this is the most color that's like most accurate I can show you right now. If you go um, on my uh, Tumblr or Twitter or Instagram or any of my social media sites, uh, you can see the natural color for my hair. I did just recently change hair dye colors um, from the medium intense auburn color to the deep burgundy dashed red black cherry color, which is this one I showed in my haul video earlier. Um, I've always used the Garnier hair dyeing products. It sucks having to do it yourself, but it is possible. Um, I would get someone to help you with that. But this is what I'm using right now, so it goes to this color, which is still a pretty vibrant color. Um, I just toned it down for work purposes since I am applying for like new jobs and stuff like that, and they want you to have a conservative color. So um, this isn't that conservative, but it's still close to the bright red color. I do miss my red hair. I miss my red hair, but I'm still applying I have to apply on a new job when I move back to Savannah, Georgia, so I can't have that bright hair yet. Um, and this is kind of easy to hide if they don't like this. You can just put your hair up on a ponytail and no one's going to notice your hair color. Um, but I always, always, always get compliments on my red hair. So um, I always use Garnier because it's the same product as my shampoo and conditioner. Right. Okay, so the next thing we talk about is hot tools that I use to do whatever to my hair. Um, the first one is just a blow dryer from CVS. It's a blow dryer turbo 1875. I just got this because my sister would get mad if um, I used her hair dryer, so this is just a hair dryer I got. Yeah, hair dryer. It's not one of the big fancy ones because I don't need that, so whatever. Um, this is my purple straightener. I love how it's purple. It is the Pixie Love is in the Hair uh -huh. straightener. And this is what I got at TJ Maxx. It was $25 and then the box price was like $200 or like $100. Like these are like the kind of straighteners that the people bug you about at the mall. And this is like a really, really old version, I guess. And so I got this for $25. Um, I do like this. It's just, it's tiny. So like I have to get itty bitty pieces of hair and go like this. And um, I do have another straightener, but it's at my ex-boyfriend's house. So I don't have that straightener right now. Um, the Remington wet to dry straightener, it's thicker. Beep. 
Um, and it's not as good as your hair as this, because this is supposed to, like, keep your hair straight for three days. Which it does, but it takes forever to do, because you have to get every single strand of hair. And, um, the Remedy in Wet to Dry Straightener, I do not use it to turn wet hair to dry hair. That's really bad for your hair, um, because you're pretty much frying it. I just use it on really quick days where I want straight hair but I don't really care if it's not pin pin straight like that's my super nice straightener the Remington one is for daily quick fast straight hair because like I said I don't have crazy curls it's kind of semi straight so it doesn't need that much work um I miss that straightener <laughs> I need that straightener back um now the video where my hair is like that I recently got this and um that was the day that I first tried this. This is the um, Remington, I think this is the half inch to a full inch curling wand. This is the bigger, fatter curling wand. Um, I do have the Con Air uh, smaller one, and I'm not sure about sizes if you guys are uh, really worried about that. I'll look it up on Amazon. It was, this is where I bought it from was Amazon. Um, I'll look up the link and I'll put it in the down bar for you guys just so you guys know. Um, this was, I think it was like $21 or it was $25 and then I just got it shipped to my house and I think shipping was $5. So this is very nice. They don't sell this in store anymore because I wanted this forever ago and I went to go look at it and for some reason all the ones that they had were 30 So this is a little cheaper on Amazon but you also have to pay for shipping so it ends up being about the same. Um, I do like this. I just burn myself a lot. And to get the nice curls it does take time because I have to put it in like four different layers and then go all the way up and make sure I'm going the right way. But I just took like this. And it was my first time using it, so everything wasn't straight in that video, like, perfectly even. And I just go like this. And then I would hold it there for, like, 20 seconds. And then let it go. And that was it. So, this thing's pretty nice, because, uh, it is just really easy. And, um, it makes your hair look really nice. It was just weird to me, because I never have my hair curled. Like, ever. But I love the curls that this gave me. And then I have heard people of using this and then the smaller curler one to um get their hairstyles so this is just what i did and uh it worked really well just please don't burn yourself <laughs> um because i definitely burned myself that day i don't know where my burn mark is but i'm i like i'm 95 percent sure oh it's right there it's a little dark itty bitty spot that you probably can't see um so these are the, all the hot tools that i use now when i style my hair i normally wear my hair like this which is just my bobby pin in my hair like that's all I do um so I'll use these bobby pins that have the little alligator mouth on them I call it an alligator mouth and then I also use I don't know if I have one over here with me it's one of those bit a bun bobby pins I thought I brought one over here it's one of those um ones that look like this it's the little u-shape and I use that for when I use the sock this isn't a sock but the sock bun thing they go like this this is too small for my hair so i have to get a bigger one of these because um when i try to use this in my hair it's too tiny and i have too much hair and it doesn't all fit so um but i use this and then i take a little bobby pins and i go like that and all this stuff the um ones that are shaped like this that have that opening in the middle they're way easier to hold your hair up um than these ones because these ones aren't meant for that um and then i just bought these things <laughs> These are little hair styling things. This is supposed to go on your bun, and then it's supposed to twist like that. I got it from Claire's, and it's supposed to go like this. It's supposed to be all cute and stuff, but it just makes me like I have bunny ears. It's kind of weird to me. And I have this little headband thing. I don't do very much to my hair, but it made me feel like a sailor or like a working sailor. I don't know. I haven't really tried wearing this yet because um, I don't really know what to pair it with, so we're still working with this. But I just look like a maid when I wear this. But like a cute maid, you know? So we're just, we're trying to make it work right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, hair ties. I know that there's like rat, like a lot of hair ties over here, but I just use these ones. I think these ones that everyone uses. It doesn't have the metal on them. And they hold my hair the best. Um, I have been trying these goodie ribbon headband thingies. It's just, 
it doesn't hold my hair. It just, I don't know what it is. Like, if I try to do a ponytail, this would be kind of hard because my hair is wet, but it doesn't really hold it. Like, I can go around once and then twice. Eek. I just have, like, really thick hair. Not, like, super thick, but, uh, I guess it holds. It just, it, it eventually, like, falls down a little bit more than I would like to. Um, so I'm still trying to get used to these. But, uh, I always, I always put my hair up in ponytails, and I know that's really bad for your hair, but I just always do ponytails. That's what I always go to. And, um, the last few things that I wanted to mention, just two last things, is this headband that I use for working out, because I have all these little baby hairs that poke out and stuff. Yeah. Super cute. Um, these headbands that have the little... I think it's like hot glue or something, but the little rubber part on the inside, and um, when it sticks on your hair, it doesn't move or anything like that, because it just sticks to your hair, kind of. And um, these don't budge, pretty much. Like, I always have to move them just because, uh, just because I get sweaty, honestly. <laughs> and then this brush is my favorite brush. It's just a plasma gel. I like the handle, because it's one of the gushy handles. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, it's goody, but it's really soft on my hair, so. I am don't really have a tender head, but it's just really soft on my hair. That is, like, everything. I think the only thing left I have to talk about is the cut of my hair. I recently did get my hair cut, because if you guys, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted, like, a before and after picture of it. So, like, my hair before was, like, down to here, and I got cut up to here. And the lady said, you didn't have to get that much cut off. I was like, oh, great. Because I miss my long hair, but it was bad to the point where my bangs right here, they were down to here. Like, they were touching my collarbone to where that was, it was like been a year since I got my hair cut. So I was like, I need to get my hair cut. I need to get my hair styled. I need my bangs back. It's, it was bothering me because I could never wear my hair down because it bothered me so much. Um, but even after getting my hair cut, I still throw my hair up in a ponytail. So I'll show you guys the length of my hair. And I've always had really long hair. Um, in high school, I had short hair for a little bit, but uh, when I was little, it'd be touching my bum. It was so long. Uh, so pretty much what I had done was I got just whatever trimmed off. It was about that much that I got trimmed off. Um, I had the textured ends and all that stuff. Well, I think she went like this or something. I don't know. And then my top layer is right here. So that's my shortest layer right here. And then the bangs is what frames my face. So this is right here. And I think there's like little baby pieces that touch my... Well, I told her my cheekbone is like how high I want my bangs to be. But, uh, um, yeah, it just kind of tapers down to these ends right here. And then, it's the same thing with this side, she did a little bit of that. That's it! <laughs> it was really easy, I hate getting my hair cut done, because it's we did all just have my hair cut. So, but I needed it, and uh, it looks good, and it's lighter, because I have so much hair and stuff. So, that's it! I don't know really else what to say. Um, if you guys do have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And even if you want me to do a tutorial with this, um, it's pretty self-explanatory and lots of people have used this already. Um, let me know. It's up to all you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in a later video. Bye guys!